What's up guys? This is uh, part two in a two-part series where we're testing um, the majority or all the hunting style pellets we could find in 22 caliber, hunting pellets and slugs. Uh, this is going to be the first of two tests. This is the low velocity test. Coming up soon will be a high velocity test. Um, these are some of the results from the first video, part one. If you did not see this, uh, check in the description. I'll leave a link to the first video. So uh, the second, state, second part is going to be testing the slugs. So let's get started. Got um, the Dream Tack Compact out, and we are going to be switching to slugs. Um, I did look over the block, the gel block. Um, I'll show you guys that. We'll compare them all side by side um, in the sunlight whenever I get this uh, block shot at. And turn on our lab radar. And at first step for this, um, I've got them in a custom box. It's actually this box here. Um, if you guys, I make these boxes. If you guys have seen any of my videos in the past, I've kind of advertised them that I, uh, I 3D print them and the sales from those boxes directly went back into purchasing all these different types of ammo from different places to make this test. So um, for those of you who have bought boxes, I'd appreciate it. And uh, you guys are the part of the reason that I was able to get all this ammo for the test. So back to the test. Um, first off is the 22 grain varmint knockers. Let's see where they're hitting, and um, then we'll go ahead and put some in the gel. Okay, I have a feeling that all these slugs are going to be kind of low. Those are all low. I'm going to adjust my sights uh, to stand a better chance to hit the gel without having to hold over. Okay, and these are going 827. Okay, two good shots into the gel. Next up, we have the FX hybrids. Okay, we've got the hybrids loaded up next. You guys all know what these are. Um, let me put some shots into the paper. Okay, let's put two into the gel.
Okay, there's two yeah. into the gel. Um, next up is the Patriot Javelins, the 23 grain and 0.217. And there's a, I don't have the tin out here because I'm out, I just had some left over. Uh, here's a picture of what the bottle or can looks like. And let's shoot some over the target. Seven forty eight. Seven fifty three. Okay, those I know group for me because that's what I shoot out of this out of this gun, uh, the the Dream Tack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two into the gel. We're already hitting pretty good. Seven fifty on the crummy on the Labradar. And 753. Okay, so that rounds off the first one. Um, the second magazine, I've got some 28 grain varmint knockers first off. No, hold on, these are not, those are uh, Nielsen, sorry. They are 23 grain NSAs. We're going over the target first. All right, into the gel. 713 and those are grouping pretty well into the gel 
Let me go down there and flip the block of gel around. Okay, I just looked at the gel and it uh, looks like we're still good without flipping it around. Uh, I've only got one set of slugs left and that is the um, the H&N. They are 217 and they are, what grain? Let me see, these are 25 grains. So same as the JSB knockouts. So let me see where we're at on target and then we'll shoot the actual gel. And that is 726. Seven thirty. Let's go into the gel. Seven thirty-five. And 736. So the Dreamline definitely shooting very consistent. Um, if you guys are curious, I've got this at 150 bar. Uh, hammer spring is on max on the wheel. The pretension isn't quite maxed out. And that's what's giving us those velocities. So let me secure the guns and everything here and um, turn off the lab radar. And we'll go get the gel, take it to a sunny area and start examining it. Okay, let's walk down there and check it out. Okay, here we are. So, let's see. The face of the target looks pretty good. We've got two, 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 and yeah, two and two. So all of them group pretty good. Um, let's see here what our results look like. Some of them you can clearly see. <laughs> this looks like an FX hybrid that's just flipped backwards did not expand. Um, we only had four of them expand. The other ones, they're all the way at the end. Look at that. The ones that are backwards, I can tell by the cup, those are FX hybrids. The other ones that slightly expanded, those look like they're Nielsen's. And these ones right here are, are um, H&N's. I know already that um, these ones that had the most expansion that created that big cavity right there, those are the varmint knockers. And these ones over here that are next to them, I'm guessing that those are the uh, Patriot Javelins. So, this goes to show, like I thought in the beginning, that some slugs perform better than others in multiple ways. Um, I was shooting these at a low speed and they still expanded where some of these other ones didn't. So let's take the gel over to the sun and we'll compare it with our pellets. All right, guys, we're back here at our table. Um, hopefully we're able to judge by our little grid, you know, exactly how good our expansion was. Um, let's see, it might be a little bit more clear if we flip it upside down. I'm gonna start dissecting these. You can see on um, this one right there, see that wound cavity? So for the two that expanded, the varmint knockers definitely outperformed them all. And the varmint knockers are a slug that I've shot in all calibers. And these here are the, called the XLHP for extra large hollow point. And um, they outperform any other slug that I've ever tested. The um, Patriots are close second, but you can see the size of that cavity right there compared to this. These just do more damage. And you can tell by them not penetrating as much, they dumped all their energy faster. So that's the ideal pest control slug. Even out of a low velocity gun, you're still getting excellent expansion. Um, we've got the hybrids. 
the NSAs and the, um, oh, what is it, the knockouts. None of them expanded. And it actually looks like two of them went all the way through. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard to see. There's the tip right there is one exit. And here's another exit. Two of them left the gel completely. Um, over in the pellets, we've got some good expansion. Um, we've only got one polymag in there. That's this top. And you can see, compared, let's see if we can compare this a little bit. Compared to the, to the slugs, there's just not, not quite the same expansion. The slugs just dealt more damage. Um, we've got, let me see here, the Hades is right there in the middle. And it's, it might be hard for you guys to see. The, the wound cavity in that is spiraled. You can see where it's instant damage, you know, right, right as soon as they penetrate, they start to damage and um, they cut and cause serrations. And that's definitely a good performer. Um, over here on the end, I'll have to dissect them to see the two most um, impressive wound channels. We got one here. Let's see, what is this? It looks like the, the Hunter Extreme. Sorry about the focus, guys. I'm trying to see for myself. The one all the way to the left, you can see that entry cavity that it caused. Looks like it caused some pretty good shock. Um, we'll go over some of the slow motion replays again just to show what these were doing on slow motion. That's really where the information is uh, easiest to see is, is the cavity that it created. But they're all not, they're all pretty good. You can see this one does, does cause quite a bit of damage here. That's the one I was just talking about. Let me go ahead and start cutting these out and I'm gonna stack them all up on a little chart so or next to the originals so we can look and see what kind of deformation we have. Okay guys, I've got everything taken apart and dissected and here's our layout. So over on this side are the solid pellets, the unfired. Over on this side is the fired pellets. So that is the, the Barracuda Hunter. Here's the speed that we fired that. Put it on the side of the screen there. Oh, I just now knocked down some of these other ones. Um, you can see we do have some expansion. Here is the expanded number. I didn't. I don't want to take the time right now with the fading light to measure them on camera, but I did measure them with the calipers, and I will post the numbers right here on the screen. So we definitely got some expansion on that um, on the hunters. Second is our JSB Hades. Now, when I say first, second, this is no winning order. This is just the order I have them laid out. You can clearly see that the JSB Hades expanded like it's supposed to. You know, even at this very low velocity, it's still expanded. It's very jagged. And uh, we could tell by the wound channel created in the gel that it definitely did a number on them. Um, this is the Crow Magnums, the h and Crow Mags. You can see they really didn't do much. They opened up a little bit. They did kind of cause a little bit of swelling and tearing inside the gel, but um, there's the expanded diameter. They didn't quite do as well as our Hunters or our Hades. The Polymag, um, they perform excellent. Even at that low speed, that thing mushroomed completely. And as we saw in our gel earlier, the cavity that it created, the tearing in the, in the gel is significant, probably more significant than any of the rest as far as the, the width and cavity that created initially. Now the Hades caused a cavity for longer, but the um, Polymags created a, a, a faster, larger diameter one. So here, here are our cheaper pellets. These are the Crossman Premiers. And I don't know, you guys be the judge here. I don't think they really expanded. Sorry about that. I don't think they really expanded. Looks like they could still be fired. <laughs> um, lastly here, we got the Hunter Extremes. These ones right here, the h and Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And these, they deformed and they did cause some tearing in the gel, but they didn't expand as much as, as, as even the Hunters did. So these might benefit from a higher speed and I will be shooting these at a higher speed in an upcoming test, um, just to compare, but I want to be able to put out um, this test in multiple speeds 
I know every, some people have guns that shoot fast and some people don't. And I want to be able to give this information to everybody so they can, you know, relate. Um, let me set these back up. Okay. On this side, top, is the Patriot Javelin. And it expanded, you can tell. Right below that is the Varmint Knocker, 22 grain, XLHP. You can see the difference in the hollow points. Um, this one has a much larger hollow point than the Patriot Javelin. And um, both of them expanded. The, the without hands down winner for expansion on all these was this Varmint Knocker right here. Not only did it create the biggest cavity, but uh, it shed its energy in the shortest amount of distance. So if you have a small target, that's going to create the best impact on it, you know, um, without blowing through and not expanding. Um, secondly here, those are the, uh, sorry, third, right there. Those are the um, FX hybrids. And the ones on the left are fired. The one on the right is not. They didn't expand. They barely uh, actually flipped around backwards. This one, uh, second to last here, this is our H&N's. <laughs> the 25 green and they did expand the nose of them expanded you know they, they have similar performance to to say the crow mags it looked like um the hunter the hunters probably performed pretty similar to those and then here let me see the back this is the jsb knockout one of those did not stay in the gel that one did expand a little bit the other one made it all the way through and lastly, we have the Nielsen. No, I think I actually have this backwards here. Let me flip this. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, you can tell by the back. That's a JSB knockout. I'm sorry. Yeah, JSB knockout. Those match. So lastly is the NSA. And it expanded slightly, but again, it almost made it out. Now, here's a perfect comparison performance test on what pellets are going to expand at low velocities and what are not. Um, I'll leave you guys with some more footage of the uh, the gel expansions and um, you let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know on the pellets which one you guys thought performed the best, which one created the, mo the best cavity and um, which one it weighs heavier or performs better in your book. Do you want something that cuts or do you want something that expands and kind of implodes? So let me know. Let me, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Also, um, there was a good example of the, the cheaper pellets didn't expand, um, even though they were kind of the same shape as the more premium pellet. So good information there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Okay, so let's take a look at our performance side by side. Um, our winner here is the Varmint Knockers. Look at the size of the cavity that it created, the length and the width. Let's compare that to the Polymags. It's it's pretty similar, but when the when the the actual cavity collapsed, the Varmint Knocker left more damage in the cavity um, than the than the Polymag did. So the slug is going to impart more energy on target if you can get your gun to group them. If you can't get your gun to group them then you, you're not really losing out shooting either the Polymags or the Hades. They're still going to be a great performer, you know, out to as far as your gun will group them. The slugs are going to retain the energy a little bit longer, but the slug is already starting out at a low velocity, so that's also something to consider when uh, selecting something for pest control, if that's what you're looking to do with these. Um, you can compare this, this Hades here to the, the second place pellet to the second place slug, and the cavity looks very similar. Um, it's kind of hard to say which one did more damage. You know, they, they both are excellent. They both start uh, creating a cavity uh, immediately within entering the gel. And, um, you know, for squirrel, pigeon, birds, stuff like that, that's exactly what you want is something that starts to cause that cavity as soon as it hits. You don't want to, you know, what good is, is an ammo that doesn't start expanding until you're six inches into the gel when you say you're shooting a pigeon-sized target that's only two inches thick. So, um... Any of these four pellets or slugs here are going to be excellent choices and they're definitely going to outperform the rest that was tested here at these lower velocities. Here is one of the um, third place pellets. You can see the cavity is just not quite as wide. It did definitely cause damage. You know, it's going to be better than your regular uh, JSB Diabolo pellet, but um, they're not going to be anything like what those top performers were. So in the end, 
You can't really go wrong with either of those. The slugs do impart more energy because they have a higher foot pound and they are uh, getting less expansion, I'm sorry, less penetration, which means they're dumping their energy a lot quicker. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, please give me a like and subscribe. There was a lot of work went into this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.